Hey, I'm here with Rob from Atlantic Coast. We're out in front of this new NXT fire truck, and I'm really curious if you can give me a little bit of the overview of like what this thing is. Tell me a little bit about it. We have redesigned our 110 aerial to the NXT model. So when we were walking around the truck earlier, you showed me some of the cool things where the pump panel looks like it's inside that, almost like in a screen. How does that work? Right. What is that? So it's actually like a can system. So uh, this is like totally automated, right? Like you uh, pretty much totally. get out and mash you have, it. You actually have a pump panel in that compartment, a pump panel up on the turntable, and then a pump panel on the right side rear compartment. So when you look at this truck, what's some of the stuff like, you know, I was working with you earlier, we got to set it up and kind of set the aerial and that sort of thing. How long is the aerial and what's unique about this aerial that's kind of different from other stuff in the so, market? So most aerials on the market, they have certain areas that they can't operate off of. With our 110, our 105s, in fact, all of our aerials, we have zero restrictions with our aerials. Hmm. So we can operate at seven degree below at 750 pound tip load. Cool. as long as your jacks are fully out. So what's your background? Are you fireman or you been in fire truck sales? <laughs> yeah, I became a fireman in uh, 1982. They actually voted me in on my birthday. <laughs> uh, my dad was has always been a fireman, so I basically just growed up in it. Been doing it for 37 years now. I come out of high school, started doing fire equipment, and then 95 I got into fire trucks and started doing it ever since. So. What do you like most about the fire industry? I just growed up in it and I love helping people and, you know, I don't know, it's just in my blood. I, get, I don't know how to really how to answer that. Can you think of a time where you've had a particularly meaningful fire ground experience that's like, man, that's really one of those times where I can hang my hat on that and know I did a good job? Yes. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, 1996, uh, we had a house fire pulled up and this is Christmas Eve. Burn all their Christmas tree up. They had two kids. It was kind of a, not a great neighborhood. Um, and all my guys, we got together and gave them every bit of the money that everybody, ever, all the firemen had out there. And it just made their day. You know, I always, I always keep this in my heart is you always have pride in what you do, no matter what it is. Mm. Whether you cut grass, whatever you do, you have pride in what you do. Yeah. And the same goes with the fire service. And as long as you have that, no matter you're a fireman or police officer, whatever you do, if you have that, then you're gonna succeed in life. And that's the way my dad raised me and that's just the way I am. Well, man, I really appreciate you being out here and show me the truck tonight and spending yes, time with us and, and all of our fire tech family. Thank you so much for having us, and we'll look forward to seeing you around the industry for years to come. Heck yeah. Excellent. Thank Good you, seeing Sam. you. Yes, sir. Thank you.